Hey, what's up everybody? Ryan here. Today I'm going to be showing you how I rebuild my 110 scale shocks. I'm going to show you how I prep my O-rings, how I measure my shock exposure, and how I bleed my shocks. So let's get to it. First thing up is how I prep my O-rings. I like to apply a little bit of the one up racing blue grease. This allows my O-rings to last slightly longer and gives you a little bit smoother filling. The next thing up after greasing your O-rings is taking your shock spacers and start building up your shocks. I also like just to thread on the shock seal covers fingers tighten just so I don't bind up the shock o-rings and make the shock sticky. Now that we have our o-rings assembled in our shocks, the next thing up is to take the shock shaft and insert them into the shock body. Just before I thread on the shock eyelet, I like to grip my shock shaft pliers just in the middle of the shock shaft, then I can start screwing on the eyelet. Next step is measuring your shock exposure. A lot of the setup sheets these days give you this reference, and most are going to be right at the bottom to the top of the eyelet. just like demonstrated. I also wanted to explain the difference between internal and external limiting. So the internal limiting is when the limiters are inside of your shock. So you just have to apply the spacer to the shock shaft and then push it through. External limiting is when the limiter is on the outside of the shock. So now that you guys know the difference, now that the shocks are assembled with the eyelets, it's time to fill up the shocks. I like just to fill up my shocks to the top of the shock body. And I'll usually like to pump it up once or twice. This will allow to get some of the air bubbles up. just so it's about flat with the surface. Now we are ready to bleed the shocks. I typically leave the bleeder screw out and I have a shock cup to put on the bottom of the eyelet. This allows the piston not to go past the oil. When bleeding my shock, I like to just to put the shock down and push down very slow. This will allow some of the oil to come out. Then I will put the bleeder screw back in. Now I'll just press the shock up and down several times just to build up some pressure and repeat that process one more time. Undo the bleeder screw and compress the shock one last time. This will get out any extra oil. Screw the bleeder screw back into the cap. Now that you guys got to see how I build my shocks, give it a test. See what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come.